So to make things easy, keep built in an appointment system where a client can book with you. Uh, this is usually handy when you want uh, the client to book with you at a, an appropriate time where you're free and you can discuss more about your offer. And the booking system is actually integrated even to the automation that is within the KIP system. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the booking system and several other parts that you might want to know that might be useful to you. So before you set up the system, you might just want to make sure that the right tools are integrated. For instance, uh, if you go to your settings there and on integrations, um, I've already set up my Google Calendar and my Zoom conferencing because these are tools that I need to be integrated to keep so that when I do my bookings, they are synced uh, with the keep booking, uh, with the keep appointment system. So to set up the appointment system, you simply go to my day and appointments. Now it's blank. I haven't set up an appointment as yet. So for one to add an appointment type, you simply add, click that, and you name it. Let's say initial consultation. You can use your name or business name for the booking page and the location can either be online on on the phone or in person so online i'd already set up my zoom link so all i do is to click on that zoom but there's an option to use a static zoom link or to ask the attendee to send you uh, their online meeting link so after that you click next now this section deals with time how long do you want the appointment to be? You have an option to put a custom time. I'll just choose 15 minutes. You might also want to leave gaps between your meetings, just in case it happens that um, you go over your stipulated time, then you have enough time to prepare for the next meeting. The only problem here is that on these buffers, there is no custom buffer time. They only have static buffer times, which you can't change. So I'll just choose the 15 minutes. And under availability, it uh, helps you set up your schedule, uh, the times that you are available and the times that you're not available. So from Monday up to Friday, I'll be available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sundays and Saturdays, I'm not available. You can also add an additional time frame to say uh, from 9 to 5, then I'm available also from, let's say, 7 p.m. Uh, to maybe 10 p.m. So you can actually add additional time frames. After setting this up, click Next. Now these additional options, um, it only gives you an option to put additional instructions that you might want a person to know about, things that they can bring to the meeting, if it's a physical meeting, even if it's a Zoom meeting, things that they might want to know before. In this case, I, I don't want to write anything. So I click next. Now, this part is quite useful. Automations really help you uh, in those repetitive tasks. For example, uh, you might want to create a deal in a pipeline every time a person books with you because this is a prospective client. So you use this create deal in pipeline. I usually want to make use of tags. Why? Um, in keep tags are important because they help trigger more automation. So in this case, I'll just create a tag. Um, when a, an appointment is scheduled, um, I add a tag. This is specific to that initial consultation, uh, not to any other appointments. So I add a new customer tag. So immediately a tag is added. This will help me in any future automation that I might want to uh, that I might want to have whenever a, an initial consultation is activated. So right now I simply publish. So what I expect to happen is every time an initial consultation is booked, then I get a new customer tag. And whenever I want any automation to OK after a booking happens, that tag will trigger that automation. So there are many other ways that you can do custom automation. You simply need to create custom automation on that. In this case, uh, we're finished, so I simply click Finish.
So after setting this up, there are several ways that you can send um, this consultation link. You can actually email it. You can copy the link and put it in your email or you can actually embed it on your website. When you embed it on your website, a person who comes and visits your website can directly book with you on that website. How would that look? Let's just use the uh, preview live page. So whether you're using an email or you've embedded this onto your website, uh, how you see it is the same way. So a person might just make a booking by clicking maybe on the 22nd of April, choose the appropriate time and click book now. They add their information. I'll just uh, add information day, dummy information. And there we go. And I confirm. So what happens every time is um, whenever an appointment is confirmed, an email is sent to the attendee and the host and these details appear on that email so how does the host keep track of these meetings we go back to the home page here under the appointment section you will find that the initial consultation uh, appears there when you click it you get access to your zoom link and all the details you can actually schedule or cancel the appointment so this is how you set up these appointments uh, within keep uh, the good thing is that it's also integrated to other parts of keep for example if you have a landing page you can actually put uh, a, a link to the booking system there and on that landing page a person can book with you and the information is also sent into the crm so generally this is how you set up appointments and these are the functions that are available to you when you access uh, appointment system within KEEP. Something that you need to take note of is the existence of uh, reminders. So what currently did is that they put a default setting where reminders are sent to the client on your behalf. So it's important that you change these settings according to how you want it to behave. So these are found in automations, uh, easy automations. You scroll down and you find where it says keep default. You click on appointment reminders and you find that when um, appointments are scheduled, it waits until 24 hours before the appointment and sends a reminder and waits again another hour and sends another reminder. And um, if uh, the the person cancels the appointment then these are stopped so you need to customize this so you just uh, click select and customize and you can change anything that you want here in this case i would just want a one hour um, reminder so what i'll do is delete the 24 hour reminder and i'm left only with the one hour uh, reminder so here you can actually edit the information that is within uh, that uh, email for example the name you can just change it from hi to dear and uh, you can make use of these um, merge fields to enter information you can actually enter information such as custom fields such as document links the profile uh, of the person the company address, things like that, the contacts, name, title. Use all of these merge fields to change your email so that it comes out as you want it. But most of the time, it's just good to leave it as it is if you um, just want it to be simple. So after that, you click Next, and it can be delayed for an hour as we have set it up. You can change the time here, maybe two minutes if you want. Then after that, click Next and Publish. There's actually an option to send a set, to send a test email as well. So after that is done, then you know that your appointments are working well and you can easily have your client or anyone book with you through Keep.